name is Ade Tokumbo, so I actually call him Tox, Toxy. My name is Dolapo Adeola, so I call her D babe. We don't do pet name. I call him Chi, that is Chinedu. And he calls me Yano. That is my name. Yeah, my name is Ignatius Ayogo. And the person beside me is my lovely wife. Mrs. Ayago. My name is uh, Iwo Special. I'm the wife of Black Daddy. The only Black Daddy in Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> he has different pet names though. When we first started, I used to call him, not use, I'm still calling him Treyo. Now his name is Baby Baby. Everybody knows yeah, him as Baby. I, I, so, and he calls me I call Love him. It. Yeah, and that, that is then. where that was then when we started. Then. Yeah, was, uh, and that is where our yeah. business name comes from, Trevets. Yeah. Trevets, yeah. From yeah. Trail and, and Lovets. <laughs> well, I think that that a uh, long time ago we started in Futa. So in uh, hundred level, we we started as friends, and it grew from that uh, <laughs> friendship to. <laughs> <and it's>, uh, <laughs> So it won't become oh a family now. So. I think we meet in uh, 2011 <coughs> in Lagos, a place called Delojo, under one mango tree. <laughs> <laughs> so I was living with my brother then. So when his, our own brother was building a mansion in the same estate I was living, so the brother used to come. So we used to play cards together now because Naibo big brother we'd always look him as a big bros big bros so so they were living at homoli estate in lagos State. so eventually when they when they now park to the estate so i saw her passing by with she has a bow leg <laughs> so i'm the one that's threatening her leg like this so i was like who is this lady walking like this back and forth so i have the courage to approach her so then from there, we are here now. <laughs> <laughs> we met off work. Um, I was working in a telecoms company and he was working in like the um, daddy company of the company I was working because ours was the baby company of that company that he was working with. So um, there was a mutual friend that made him start talking to me so i would say that person was the one that made us start talking even though we we used to ride on the same staff bus on the same route my younger sister introduced her to me in my local government in soka local government in new states i met her at my place of job i used to work in the south african um, visa at the south african embassy i met her at my job she actually came to renew her visa and I saw her. That was the first time I met her. So it was, um, it was she was capturing there when I met her. I think that should be in the 2011 or 2012. 11 years, 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. And when they saw so like, um, the person that's supposed to attend to me, I said, no, you need to go down there. I was so crazy. I was like, to go and do what? I don't know it was the one. Then he gave me his number and said to call me. And that was how we started. Me, I believe uh, when you marry, you will be the biggest madame. You will sit, you will have plenty um, has help that you'll be sitting around. <laughs> you will sit and um, cross your leg, but not the other way around though. But in my, in my own case, it's different. Marriage, it has so many endurance, so many tolerance. So you have to endure to make the marriage last. Oh my God, I thought marriage is a bed of roses, but you know, it's not what it is, man. You know, as day goes by, you progress with it, it goes with it. Marriage doesn't have any formula at all. What works for you, works for you. What don't work for you, you try to make a man and go back and make it work. My own married me is, uh, I thought I'd be having sex every day. <laughs> but it doesn't work that way. Um, we have issues, you know, there are issues of life, 
children, work. They are not even at home, you know, thinking that, oh, you know, the way we taught marriage. <laughs> well, <laughs> That's one major thing. That's one major myth that I feel like got busted in his own side. But as for me, the marriage myth um, that got busted in quotes would be a man doing everything you want. Like you literally have a man to yourself. Like you're able to tell him, Tox, please help me get my shoes, wear my shoes and stuff. It doesn't happen that way. <laughs> it doesn't happen that way. No, not at all. You find yourself doing practically, you know, a lot of things on your own, especially when, like he said, life happens. You have kids. He has to go out to do stuff. And, you know, man has to be the provider either way. So, yeah. No, we don't have because what? let me just tell you, we, we cut it for eight years. So we've discussed a lot of things where, yeah. why we're cutting. So... There is nothing like that is new. So we exactly. we we then we knew some things that could come up. So we'll have discussed it. So there was except some little little things that will come up now, then we know how to to solve it. But then uh, what I would like to add to what she said is that um, when we started the uh, the the since that time till now it's still the same thing we've never they, they, i mean we, we we we've tried to maintain the same standard that we had then you understand? so like friendship is the, still like friendship yeah from, so there's from nothing the new there, there's nothing different like no nothing like husband he's still husband yeah, and wife still but we we still relate like friends before we believed it's just going to be romeo and julie every day but right now it's like you know as we're growing this is, this is reshaping, and uh, we are trying to adjust. I knew it was love when he would not stop calling me. Like, he called almost every night. And at some point, I was like, what is going on? Why would this person not stop calling me? Like, call in the middle of the night, call in the day, call every time. And... He doesn't really like going out. He never used to like going out. He was an indoor person, but I'm outdoor. I love to enjoy myself, have fun. So it came to a point where I started dragging him out of his comfort zone and he was able to, you know, kind of adjust. So I knew, okay, fine. This was good. Like I could take him to the cinema, take him to shop, even though he didn't want to do that. You know, he'd yeah. rather be at home. Year 2000, when I got accident, I came home. Uh, then, seeing my my condition, you know, that time we just did uh, something like an uh, uh, introduction. So I got accident on the way. So when I came back from hospital, you know, surprising to me, he said, you follow me to my station to take care of me. So it was, you know, I was very impressed. After the introduction, I first went to their place and stayed a couple days. Uh, and uh, after he left, you know, I just I, I just couldn't stay without him. So luckily, I would say luckily because he had an accident three months after. And I was like, yes, it's an opportunity, you know, to go and join him. Like me, it took me some time. But to him, I think it was a very first night he saw me. But me, I was like, I have to study him. It took me a while before I could see him as a genuine person, that his love is genuine. But then, but then uh, from my side, uh, the first time I ever saw her, uh, I knew that I was going to have a long time relationship with her. Then, that was the first uh, thing I had, and that was why I tried as much as possible to uh, be close to her so that I don't, uh, I don't lose that, <laughs> that thing that I had there. <laughs> Do you know what yeah. funny thing? That very night I saw him, I saw him as a stranger, but he saw me as... <laughs> so he was like, oh, you give me your picture. I said, I don't give a stranger a picture. <laughs> So my stranger today now is now is not a guy stranger. There was a time he, uh, she was 
going to a culinary school in Lagos then. So when the brother now believed that, yes, you have a boyfriend now. So because when she's going to school, she has to branch. I hide. I hide to say <laughs> hi to me. So there was a girl that used to report her to yeah, her brother that, to report me to my brother. that uh -uh, this girl that they sent to school, she's not going to school. She used to <laughs> meet this, she used to branch to say hello to this guy. Yo. So from there, they now started monitoring her movement. But still, she will still find her way to come and see me. Even if they buy meat from Abatio Market, she will, because I was the only one living there now because I was I, I used to hide food too. Sometimes she had food. To bring give me you. It, to give me another so that's when i know that this woman is truly truly love me before we got married when i was engaged i was like is this love i don't know but why what i realized was that was that love is when your partner care for you put you first and respect you so that is when you you will know oh this person loves me and that was why i go ahead with the marriage because i'm his first priority and he respects me and cares for me. Nikke, she has always been who she is. So, and I, I like somebody like her, you know, that I see the genuity, the real person, the real Nikke, you understand? Know I, I don't know how to express myself, but, but, but then, I have... I'm that, always a straightforward person. Yeah, she's a straightforward Not person. Tea. Somebody that is natural and... My first impression the first day I met her was just, you know, to have a taste and just go move ahead, you know. Just, you know, how guys do, and I'll smash and go. But, you know, I was stuck. <laughs> I was stuck in it. <laughs> the funniest part, I told him I was living on the island. I never knew he lived down the street of my area. <laughs> One day he was driving and saw me and he said, Oh, look, what are you doing here? I said, I'm my mama must be this now. <laughs> Because he came to me with his sister, I don't really know him. We did not uh, cut that much. So, but uh, speaking, talking to him during that time, I realized he's a quiet, you know, nice guy. And uh, he's a chubby guy, you know, and that is what uh, I love. Uh, my impression <laughs> is I want someone that um, a bit of um, extrovert. So, and I see that in her. So. Um, one of the reasons why I... Because I used to express myself a lot. I love expressing yeah, yeah, myself. Yeah. Like, if you say life of the party, that would be me. Because when I get somewhere, I really like to make everywhere lively. You know, have fun and just be cool. Yeah. You know, so... We have a lot. I, I can tell you that even our set in Futa then, I think we were nominated as best couples on, on campus. So yeah, we, we to, always to do, yeah. he did not have any other friends. So I'm always his friend. We read together. I will always sit beside him to read. So we have a lot, a lot together that we, we can't even, if we start today, we can't finish. Back home, you know, we, we had a, you know, a lot of memory dating, you know, going to joint to eat bush meat uh, by then. We stay, you know, no kids then. So, yeah, those times it was fun, just two of us. But fast forward it, you know, at this time we do everything together with the kids. If we're going out to for a date, we go with the kids. So, um, honeymoon, because we got to have that time alone. So, and we were far away from family. So, that was when we had me, 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 actual me time before kids started coming in, life started happening and a lot of stuff started <laughs> taking time away from our little time. So, yeah. It was two-sided. I will give a little story about it. Why I said it was fun and it was, at the beginning it was crazy. You know, we were going to the beach when we met. We're not married yet. We we're going to the beach then, I think, uh, a language beach or one beach like mm -hmm, that. I can't remember mm -hmm, what the beach mm -hmm. is. On Todd Millan Bridge, I think a text message or a phone call got into my phone and she saw it and was like, Who is this or what happened? Before I know, we started dri dragging the stairs. We nearly joined Prince Inside the Ocean. We're dragging <laughs> the stairs. I was driving um, 
a pathfinder, if not for that car, has a, you know, um, infinity. Infinity. <laughs> yeah, it has double, what's it called? Um, that ABS, front, front iron. And bank, yeah, and the red, the grey red. So we were dragging the steering, you know, she said, we're going to die. I said, are you serious? So we were, you know, we ran into the wall of the Todd Milan Bridge and people came down and... and they were you like, know, congratulations, you guys uh, made it. We didn't believe it. You know. <laughs> So the fun part of it, when we got to the beach, we forgot everything happened. We started, you know, enjoying our life like nothing happened again. Every time I was like, 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 Back then, the band song, mm, mm. <laughs> that was the song, part of the songs he used to woo me was, Oma, you don't make me fall in love. That was when that song was trending. Yeah. Fall in love, oh, fall in love, oh. We supposed to marry because you don't make me fall in love, oh. Fall in love, oh, fall in love. See, <laughs> Melody, my sweet baby, the one where they make my heart go genuine, my shake body. Say I promise you, Fast. we go chop money. The Lord, you give me so. On a the, the queen, queen will hold my heart. heart. The, the crown, crown upon, upon my, my head. head. The, the handsets of, of my life. On the no be more. The crown upon my head. The handsets of my life. life. Oh, be more, be more. Oh, be more, be more. Oh, yeah, more, yeah, more. Now, one You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when sky are gray. You never know, dear. How much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Well, last year was a very wonderful Valentine's Day because he's, like I said, very reserved. But I woke up to all kind of stuff <laughs> like chocolates, flowers. It was big on Valentine's last year. <laughs> so, yeah, that was wonderful. And that was, I mean, he buys gifts, a whole lot of gifts. He's, he's good with gifts, but for Valentine's, it's not really big on that. So last year was different. So I came to balloons and stuff, all red and beautiful. I was like, what? This is nice. <laughs> Please keep it up. <laughs> I don't think we have a memorable Valentine's Day. The funnest part, we don't do special we don't, stuff. We don't have a special day. Every day is special for us. Yeah, we don't. We don't We do not do gifts on Valentine. We don't do all those things. Yeah, we don't have a special day. Every yeah. day is special in you this You can house. go out and buy anything. I can go out and buy anything. We don't do that. Even the funnest part, before I even buy McDonald's, I will even call him Chi. I want to buy McDonald's. <laughs> so we do... We don't, we don't have a special day. We every don't day have special. any special day. We've always had nice time. Right from the time we started, you understand? So I can't point to a particular one that, oh, we had much experience. I mean, uh, I can't point to a particular one that is more memorable than uh, the other ones. But then the truth is, the point is, we've always had better time every time. Especially while we were, uh, while we were in school then, we always had nice time together and we still maintain that. Mm -hmm.